Hello YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly and in this video I will be reviewing Huda Beauty's Bomb Brows. So I have two colors, I've been testing them out, I know everybody has been wondering are they good, are they not good, if you follow me on Instagram you already know what I think, but if you want to know more keep watching. Alright, so before we get into the review, I just want to remind you, hit the subscribe button, that way you won't miss out on any great hair, beauty, skincare videos that I make here for my channel. Also, hit the notification bell, that way when I go live or when I post a new video, you'll be first to know, okay? So, join us over here, we're having fun, talking all things makeup, skin, hair, tech, you know, just having a good time. So, why don't you come join us? So, Huda Beauty Bomb Brows. This was so disappointing, so sad. I was really hoping that this would be the brow pen that was going to be like amazing and would change my life. When I first heard the announcement of she's coming out with brows. Then I saw the previews of the packaging and the product. And I was like, that's really tiny. How is that supposed to help me do a full brow? And the answer to that question is it won't. So, unless you have lots of time to spare. So, the two shades that I got were 9 in 6 Rich Brown and then 7 in Black Brown. So, um, Huda Beauty, when she does her product promotions, she's really, which I appreciate, is focused on kind of trying to be transparent. So, she shows it not going on as opaque or not as bright and kind of people having to layer up and redo things on her videos. So um, it was really hard for me to pick which one I should get because I was just like, what shape, like the way they were doing it, one girl, the African American woman who had the deep to dark, like the darker skin tone, her, the way they drew the faint eyebrow strokes on her is what you couldn't even tell in the video that they did her brows. Like, you had to wait till they took a picture and then showed you a picture and they did her brows. And I was just like, but y'all selling the brow pencils. I should be able to see her brow in the promotional materials. So this one is number seven, the black brown. So I will put my hand up there and just try and draw it in for you guys. It's a real faint, real small brow pencil. So that one is so, so the number seven, the black brown, it has a red undertone. And then the next one I'm gonna show you guys is the rich, I think rich brown's the name of it. Let me not lie to you. It is the ch 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 rich brown. And then this one is the more blue base cool one. So. I'll do it over here. See what just happened? It broke. Uh, this thing breaks so much, which is another reason why I'm not going to give this product a, um, sorry guys, I have to draw it down here because it's just going to keep breaking if I try and do it the other way. So it's this one over here. So as you can see, that's red. That's more like blue, cool base, so warm. So basically, if, if you have really dark hair, even though you would think you go for the deepest shades, don't do it in this instance. Get the six. So um, that's one of the many issues with this product is that it um, breaks really easily. So the because it's so fine, 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 you can't really put that pressure to like fill in or to create shape for your brows and it's really really hard to kind of manipulate that so that's difficult um i will say that it does have lasting power so when you do finally do your brows with it and finish it's going to be bold it can be lasting for a long time it's just that because it's so small you have to do so like look how many strokes i did i did like what probably like seven or eight and they're still fairly see-through so in terms of people like me who have very thin eyebrows and we need more product to fill it in these can't help us so basically what these have been relegated to in my eyebrow routine is that sometimes if I remember I'll use them to fill in the front part and then I'll use my Anastasia Beverly Hills to fill in the rest of the brows um clearly I like an over-the-top bold big brow 
so because that's the case these little ones are not really my style if you are looking to draw in just like three or four eyebrow hairs or if you have the time in your makeup routine to sit there and like and then multiply that by 20 minutes or however long it would take you to fill in your brow like that then it will work for you but in terms of the average person who has thin brows this is not a good brow pencil and I it's funny I'm surprised but I shouldn't be um a lot of uh, Huda? Huda, that's what I think her name is a lot of Huda products skew to fit her specifically so for instance the all of the skincare stuff that she like first dropped and was coming out with was really geared toward dry skin because she has more of a dry skin. She has this whole makeup routine of covering your face with highlighter and then putting foundation on top. And it's just like oily people. We're looking at her like, girl, do you see the highlighters already making my cheeks look like super greasy? And you want me to cover my whole face with it? Like that's a no so i think that these brows fit these bra bomb brow pencils fit into the same vein that she was born and blessed with naturally thick beautiful eyebrows and she needs less help to fill them in and that's why she created this little tiny pencil because it will help people with brows like her to just add a little something extra to their brows so it's definitely if you have thick full brows and you just have like a little spot with a little gap these are perfect but if you want to create like a full brow or if your brows are really thin then these are not going to be the best for you also the price um I'll put the pr exact price in the description box but I was just thinking that for a little tiny tiny point these are not worth the money like it should have been a couple of dollars cheaper and I just they're so small do y'all see that like I feel like this is the size of well no not this thick but like ha like one and a half of these is like what a normal brow pencil would be and in terms of the amount of product you get and that you could use over time it's way less than other brows pencils so I just feel like the price could have came down. I'm not doing it as a buyer beware because I do think it's a great product and it can work for some people. But like I said, if you don't have thick, luxurious brows already that you just need to add a little bit to, I don't see it. I don't see it. So, um, again, unfortunately, this is also, it's funny. The hype around these was so much and everybody's like, oh my God, these things are going to be amazing. Bomb brows. Let's see what happens. And then it really fell flat for me. I was just like, oh, these are not that good. But um, I'm still going to continue to use them. Like I said, unfortunately, the red one, uh, the rich brown. Uh, no, not rich brown. I want to get these right. Rich brown is the one that works for me that I could see myself continuing to use now. Black brown is a little warmer. So I think as the summer starts to happen and I start to like maybe tan a little more and like change colors or do something different with my hair maybe it's just because my hair is so black that when I do like the reddish brown brows it looks weird but um we'll see I am going to keep trying to finagle these and use these in different ways but if you have thin brows I definitely would not recommend these all right so thank you so much for coming to watch my review and I will see you in the next video